Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Going to go do some training today uh, with some people in our group. And I thought I would talk about the thing that we are training with because I don't even know how this happened. But somewhere along the way on the internet, it's become a controversial self-defense tool. And I just thought I would weigh in and give you my two cents. Not that it means a whole lot. I mean, I have used these. I have I have breached uh, buildings and homes with these. And uh, while a lot of people will tell you that you're just wasting your time and they're not really good for any kind of self-defense, uh, I've I've seen their I've seen the results, and I tell I'm going to tell you, I think that they're an excellent choice, especially for beginners, and most especially for homesteads. And I am speaking of the good old 12 gauge pump shotgun. Uh, this here is a cheap one, which is also one of the things that I like about them, is you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a decent uh, to get a decent 12 gauge. And uh, they're, they're, they're one of the most versatile uh, firearms, probably, uh, that, that you can get a hold of. And I think that they uh, cover so many bases when it comes to homesteading and prepping that I do believe that a 12-gauge pump shotgun uh, should be in every arsenal uh, of every homestead and every prepper. Again, I don't really know where it came about. I understand that there are some limitations to this weapon. Uh, if, if I was going into a into war, into some kind of combat scenario where I may be trying to uh, attempt to take targets out at a range, at a distance, um, or if the terrain was, was of such that, that the, the odds are that, that your target would be at some kind of a distance, you know, especially over 100, 100 yards, 100 meters, then of course this would not be my primary weapon. But for the average American, the average American homestead, and the average scenario, their most likely scenarios um, that a homesteading prepper is going to, to find themselves in now, uh, when it comes to defending your homestead and probably in the future, I think that a 12 gauge pump shotgun would certainly uh, do most of the jobs. This here, like I said, this is a cheap one, uh, and I actually like it. I find myself using this one, uh, picking this up more than anything. I, I bought it just because it was cheap. It's got a lot of wear on it. It's starting to lose some of the, the cheap bluing. You can see that there, um, but it functions fine. And this is an H&R Partner Pump. Uh, you can get these for $200 or less. Uh, they are basically a copy of a, of a Remington 870. And uh, the, the parts are a lot of the parts, not all. A lot of the parts, especially the stocks and stuff, the foregrip, are interchangeable to a Remington 870. And a Remington 870 is like the AR-15 of the shotgun world. Um, you can find all kinds of assortments and attachments and gadgets and stuff for Remington 870s and Mossberg 500s. I know there's going to be some Mossberg lovers pop up, but I, from my experience, you can find more uh, Remington 870 stuff. And a lot of the Remington 870 stuff will work on one of these. Now, I know there's going to be some naysayers and they're like, oh, that's not a high quality one. It's not a Benelli and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But it's also a $200 or less than $200 weapon, okay? And for someone that's starting out, someone that's money is tight, uh, someone that doesn't have the experience and knowledge, maybe they're just getting into it. This right here, most people can afford $200. And if you don't have $200 in your pocket right now, it probably wouldn't take you a whole, you know, too long of a time to get up, come up with two hundred dollars versus a thousand dollars or eight hundred dollars uh, for an AR-15 um, versus, you know, six seven hundred dollars for a good uh, pistol. Something like this, the average person, most anyone, can acquire this, and uh, the skill level that's needed to make something like this function is not very uh, high skill level. Just in case anyone asks, it is, I've cleared this weapon beforehand. Um, with a 12 gauge, uh, you can use uh, all sorts of loads. That's one of the reasons why it's versatile. Uh, for home defense, you know, something like this double op buckshot uh, is great because you have some large BBs in there, large pellets 
uh, that are going to take out your target, uh, especially even the two-legged critter ones. Uh, but you can get really light loads, you know, if you're just wanting to, and they're cheap, cheap light loads. So if you're just wanting to, you know, keep the squirrels or the, the raccoons or something out of your, your barn or your coop, uh, something like this will work. Again, the skill level doesn't need, you don't need a lot of skill, you know, it's, and then pull the trigger. Um, you don't have to have a, a little light on it. I just added that and this is a cheap one. I don't even I picked it up on Amazon and I thought it was, I try it out even though it's cheap. I've shot numerous rounds through it and it still functions. So uh, it's, it's, it's doing fine uh, with the little pressure. You can see that. You don't have to get something like that. I, it's just, it was just something I threw on it. Um, accuracy, you don't have to be uh, a, a really, really good shot. Maybe you have poor eyesight. Maybe you don't have a lot of experience um, in, in firing a weapon. It's much easier to hit your target, especially at close range, than with something like this. This takes a lot more skill to develop to where you can do be pretty accurate with this. And with a pistol, you're only using that anyways to get to a rifle or to a long gun. And I'll be honest with you, in a, in a close range, and when I say close range, I'm not talking face to face, in you know, 30 yards or less, maybe even 50 yards or less, I would feel much more comfor comfortable and confident taking on an aggressor with something like this than I would with my handgun. Because as much as Hollywood wants to paint that, that this little nine millimeter round is gonna blow a hole this big around and knock their lungs out and throw them over the back of the car, it doesn't work that way. And many times it takes well more than a full magazine of a pistol to get someone to stop. Whereas this, aside from just the psychological aspect of walking up to someone and hearing that, um, this packs quite a bit of a punch. And even one round, a uh, very carefully placed round, will put a target down, usually pretty quickly. Um, and, you know, if not, it doesn't take much to do a follow-up and a follow-up and a follow-up. Um, I would always, I have people occasionally still, not as much as I used to, but occasionally I still get people emailing me asking, you know, they're, they're new to all this. And they're asking about firearms. And they're asking my opinion and they don't have any they've never shot one uh you know they didn't grow up in a gun culture and so they're just wanting to find out what's the best for homesteading for home defense uh, and i usually tell them the first thing you need to do is go out and buy something like this buy something like this and get comfortable with it yeah it packs a little bit of a punch in your shoulder it's not unreasonable my wife she's a small lady and she loves shooting shotguns she's this is her this is her favorite thing to shoot is a shotgun uh, even my children shoot it uh, and you can get lighter rounds so that the recoil isn't as much to kind of get yourself built up to the the heavy rounds and that's another a good benefit of the shotgun it's very versatile um depending on the setup of shotgun and the type of ammunition because you can get solid slugs uh just about anything in north america this thing will stop uh, so, so there's that benefit, you know, as far as hunting, you can get interchangeable barrels. You know, this is an 18 inch barrel meant for home defense, but you know, you can get a long barrel for this and get some, a little bit more accuracy out of it and you could, you know, hunt with it. Um, I just, I understand there's, there's over penetration problems. You know, if you're living in a, in a, um, in an apartment, and you miss your target, yeah, it could get into the other people's apartment depending on the rounds that you're using. Uh, if you've only got birdshot in it, um, you may not stop the target uh, depending on the, 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 the distance to the target. I get it. I know that there's, there's negatives to it. There's negatives to every weapon, okay? Every weapon. There, there's, there's some drawbacks to it. You know, with, a, with an AR or any kind of rifle, you definitely have over-penetration. Uh, with a, with a 5.56, five, which is the common AR round, um, it, it takes a lot more than one round at times to stop someone. There's many, many people that's used them in combat that will tell you that it takes way more than one or two rounds to typically stop an assailant. Uh, same way with a pistol. In the pistol, you have uh, a lot more um, need for accuracy and skill. And so for the first timer uh, or for someone that has some type of 
disability, or maybe they can't see as well, maybe they're just not experienced. I just don't think you can go wrong with a 12 gauge pump shotgun. And the, like I said, this one, and there's others, it's not just this particular model, but there are others. I wanted to show you this one as a representation of cheap ones that do a really good job. You know, if you can afford to go out and buy a five, six, seven hundred dollar shotgun, which still isn't that expensive, then certainly go ahead and do it. But if all you have is two hundred dollars in your pocket and you really want something to de defend your home and your family, you can have a 12 gauge pump shotgun for around two hundred dollars uh, in most places, brand new or even, you know, maybe slightly used at a pawn shop. <clears throat> so, you know. If, you're, if your opinion is, is that they're a poor choice for, for home defense or for self-defense, that's your opinion and you're entitled to that, but you're not gonna get me to change my opinion. Uh, again, I have used these in the line of duty. I have seen the results of what they can do. I've seen it firsthand what they can do to a person. Um, and I am fully confident if this was the only weapon that I had to defend my homestead. Would I try to take targets out at 75 yards, 100 yards? Stuff? No, no, I would much prefer to have a long gun for that. But if someone's approaching my house or trying to break into my vehicle or something or trying to, to you know, come into my home, um, I feel very confident that this would be enough to protect me from them. And I, I'm, I'm totally okay with this being a first choice weapon. Um, and I, I just want to emphasize for a lot of you that, that this is something that you should probably consider. And consider it because the way things are going in the world, uh, we don't know how much longer uh, we can very freely purchase this. There are states that are, are trying to make it even more difficult. Was it Washington, I believe, just recently made it very difficult. Uh, uh, to, to purchase firearms. I suspect that ammunition uh, is going to be the, the next thing or, or the next firearm related thing that's going to uh, become difficult. Uh, and that's, the, that's another thing. It's, it's, th this is not on the, the top of the list for the gun grabbers. Uh, this is not an assault weapon kind of thing. This is just your granddaddy's old shotgun. It may be black, but it's just your granddaddy's old shotgun and um, you're, you're not going to draw a lot of attention by buying something like this or having something like this. So for all you newbies out there or for you folks that are just uncertain because you've watched all these videos of people telling you that shotguns are worthless and that they're a bad choice to have, um, uh, my opinion is, is it's not. It's not the best choice, okay? It's not my primary weapon. It's not the, the weapon that I would go to, but it's not a bad choice. And there's no reason why every home shouldn't have at least one 12 gauge pump shotgun and, and know how to use it. There's, they're, so, they're so versatile. There's so many uses for this. Uh, and the ammunition is cheap, you know? Um, and, and like I said, if I've got a, a raccoon you know, running around trying to get into my coop, I'd, I'd much rather use something like this and it's not gonna cost me a whole lot. Uh, and I, you know, I don't have to worry about being super accurate with it uh, than, than pulling out, you know, something like this and I've got a dollar round, you know, ammunition in it. And, and then I have to worry a little bit more about my accuracy. So for the homestead, definitely uh, for home defense, personal defense, it'll work. Uh, when you need it, it'll work. So folks, I highly recommend you go out and find your shotgun. Again, you can get nicer ones than this, but I wanted to show you what a $200 shotgun looks like. And I I don't know how many rounds I've put through it, but it does fine. It's never failed me yet. It functions just as well as a six, seven, eight hundred dollars shotgun. I mean, it's not a Benelli, but uh, it's it definitely gets the job done. Folks, this kind of stuff is what you also need to be focusing on because they don't want you to have it. They don't want you to know how to use it. Uh, learn how to, to protect and defend yourself. That way you can defend your rights. Folks, it's time to get your houses in order. Prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.